So which is the real economy? Please stand up, somebody. Yet another jobs report skewed by historically severe winter weather, or was it? Is the U.S. economy in the right track or not right now? Well, with us to try and answer that all-important question, Jeff Kay from Bassman Sanford Rose Associates, Dean Baker from the Center for Economic Policy, Economic and Policy Research, and of course, senior economic supporter, our own Steve Leesman. Guys, it's great to see all of you. Uh, Jeff, first to you, I mean, how does this report square with what you're seeing firsthand? Well, I think it's probably, I'll say, a tale of three cities, if you will, or three job markets. If you're a professional, college degree, you're loving this. And cozy and warm, it's 3% unemployment and really full employment for you. If on the other hand, you're not college educated, not even high school educated, you're closer to 10% wow. unemployment. Very different circumstance. And the blizzard is someone just told you, well, it got a little better today. And then if you're part of this economic hysteresis phenomenon, this long-term structurally unemployed, I think you've been in the cold so long, you're just kind of numb to Although it. So those I think figures it's, did get a little better in the report. They sure today. did. It absolutely did, it and 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 shrank that uh, number significantly. So I think the answer is it depends on your fill, function, industry, location, and level. And depending on the answer to that question, that sort of tells you how you're doing today. We have to boost the economy. The idea that we've had bad economic policy and just say, okay, nothing we could do about that, that shouldn't be acceptable. Jeff Kay. Yeah, I think it really depends on the industry that you're in. I do think the new normal is that it's been gradual unemployment rebound, which who knows, maybe it's better than these gigantic swings that we're used to. But I think it depends on what industry you're in, what function you're in, what role you play. So I use this very quick example. Apple has 45,000 employees, 30,000 of them are in retail. They got tanked today because of online and the cold. That leaves 15,000. Foxconn in China, 1 million. 300,000 wow. just make the iPhone 5S, 300,000. So if you're one of those 15,000 in that world, I don't care finance and accounting, engineering, IT, you're recruiting headhunters like us, sales, marketing, communications, and then all the industries that support that, construction, energy, uh, even financial services and uh, healthcare, despite some of the regulations have gone up. And by the way, recruiting firms and professional services firms help them with those challenges. So I think it really depends on what section of the economy you're speaking to, Indeed. and that really dictates it. Gentlemen, got to go at this point. Thank you all for your uh, your insights today. Appreciate it very much. Yeah, appreciate Thanks. it. See ya.